Hello. I'm going to show a quick demo today about how to achieve MCDC code coverage in LDRA. And the example that I'm going to show has a lot of decisions. If you look at it, in this example, we're looking at a struct and based on elements in the struct, there are a variety of decisions that uh, send us in one direction or, or another. And this code may come across cross because it's legacy code, or it could be because the code was built up over a series of changes, or maybe it was written by ChatGPT. In either way, in all of these cases, this kind of code is, is difficult to test and LDRA can help. So the first thing I will do is create a single test case for um, th this function, MCDC, the one that you see on the left. This will compile, execute, potentially on the target, and uh, retrieve some coverage results and give me a starting point for the rest of my activities. And then I can take a look at my results, some statement coverage, some branch coverage, and no MCDC coverage. And in this case, what that means is while I have some coverage, either from what I've executed or from the definitional, definitional elements of, of MCDC, I don't have coverage for the various combinations that are uh, important for MCDC. If I look at my MCDC test case planner, these are located around these number signs. That indicates that these, these test cases are particularly important for the minimal set of test cases required to achieve 100% MCDC coverage. And then, I can get, go into my code and I can create combinations for, for, for each of these. But as it turns out, LD Array also has TB Extreme and Tabular Extreme Test, which can look deeply into that MCDC statement and, um, and create a series of test cases to achieve maximum coverage. So if I do run Tabular Extreme Test, I now get 64 test cases, so that's a, it's the one plus the, um, the 64 there, and uh, I have achieved 100% statement branch in MCDC coverage. I can then look at my results view, my dynamic coverage report, and I can see that what's happened here is that LDRA has looked at all of the uh, possibilities and, and combinations and created test cases for, for each of these. But that being said, I can do better. So in this case, we've created test cases for all of our conditions and use that to gather our, our data for extreme test. What if we were to look at each condition and then use whether or not that condition contributes to the extreme coverage totals to uh, identify those critical, essential conditions for MCDC? So this is something that can be done with profile analysis. Under extreme test configure, I will then enable profile analysis. And then this is the key thing, remove test cases that do not contribute to coverage. So if I do that and I delete all of my test cases, and then I go ahead analysis enabled, we first create the mass of test cases, the 64, for all the different permutations of, uh, uh, of the MCDC, then we look to see which of those actually contribute to our, our coverage and which of those do not. By doing that, this allows us to hone in exactly what are the seven conditions that are required to achieve MCDC coverage. And so now we have an essential set of conditions based on the data in the, the MCDC conditions that allows us to achieve 100% MCDC coverage with a small handful of test cases, generally N plus one, the number of conditions plus one, which is the minimal required to achieve 100% MCDC coverage. And all automatically with the use of TB Extreme and the TB Extreme Plus feature of profile analysis.